Hi, this is Jessica Mays, Infusionsoft Certified Consultant, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use internal web forms in Infusionsoft. Now, before we get started, I just want to say that setting up or, you know, the whole concept of internal web forms, it's not that it's necessarily difficult to do. I just found when I was figuring out how to uh, find them, use them, set them up, and so forth, it was just tricky to wrap my brain around why you would use an internal web form versus an external web form, where to set them up, and then how to use them. So that's really what I'm focusing on and why I've re recorded this tutorial about internal web forms. Let's talk about why we use internal web forms. Internal web forms can only be updated from within a contacts record. So chicken and egg, the contact has to be in the system to be able to use an internal web form for that particular contact record. The great thing about that is what you're really doing then is you're, you're updating an existing contact record. You are running no risk of creating a duplicate contact record in the system. When we're using external web forms, and what I mean by that is a web form that might be out on your website, or if you're using the link that is tied to that web form, clicking on the link and then you completing the web form or having somebody else complete the web form, there is the possibility that a duplicate contact record could be created. Now, we do put things in place so that hopefully that doesn't happen. You know, we were able to do a duplicate check and we can set that criteria when we're setting up the form. And also if you do create a duplicate um, contact record, you certainly can you know, identify duplicates and put them together. So it's not a huge, huge deal, but that is one nice thing about using an internal web form is that you are appending the contact record that you want to put additional information in. So what I've created here, what you're seeing on the screen is, first of all, I'm in Campaign Builder. You go to Campaign Builder by logging in and from your dashboard, hovering on the Infusionsoft icon and going into Campaign Builder, which is under Marketing. I've got set up here two different web forms. I have an external web form. I have an internal web form. And I have them both going to the same sequence because it's really the same thing is happening regardless of which web form is, is filled out. But what I've created here is a scenario where it would be two different situations. So you'll notice I've labeled my external web form appointment from website. I've labeled my internal web form appointment from call-in. So this is a demonstration of if you have a form, say out on your website, where people can request an appointment to speak with you, work with you, whatever. And then also, if you have one, that if you're on the telephone with somebody or um, just basically they're not, no, nobody has access to that, um, that external web form, we, would, we could then use the internal web form. But both ways, it's an appointment being made, so we would send them into a sequence that probably has the same tag and sends out the same confirmation email. You may have it set up that you want a different tag to go on depending on which form they filled out, but um, for demonstration purposes, this is perfect. So what I did here was, it's already been set up, but from the goal section, I pulled out two icons. I kept the one a web form, external web form. The other one, if you click the bottom left icon, you get your pop-up window so that you can choose whatever goals, goal you want. And I simply changed it to submits an internal web form. So that's how you get an internal web form started. You have to build it in Campaign Builder, and this is how you do it. You then double click on the form. I'm actually going to get rid of these two. I don't want to cause confusion since this one's already done. It's green, so I know that I've configured it already. This is just showing you how to finish the process of setting up an internal web form. It's the same way that you set up your external web form, but know that you don't have to worry about doing any, um, with external web forms we sometimes worry about background and font and all that sort of thing. An internal web form is, is literally being used internally, so just get your fields um, into the form and you'll be good to go. I've kept this very minimal just so that I could get it set up so that I can show you how this works and we can go ahead and demo this. I clicked one too many times just want to be clear on what we're doing. So it was really as simple as that, dragging out the icon, making sure you have the green web form icon because that is the internal web form. And here's something that's very, it's not critical, but it's really a good tip as a best practice and you'll see why in a second. When you pull out these icons, you usually get very generic 
um, wording underneath of them. This one says sign up for a newsletter. This one says register for an event. This one would say attend an event, request information, so on and so forth. You can double click on those words and change them to whatever you want. I always recommend that you change the wording under your icons to be something that makes sense to what's going on in your campaign. Uh, number one, because once you have a lot of campaigns, you know, you need a minute to get up to speed on what's going on in there. Also, it makes it so that other people can come into the campaign if you have uh, team members that help you out and uh, see what's going on. But it's really important that you uh, label your internal web form so that it's something that you will recognize. And the reason for that is when we demo this, you're going to see we get a drop-down menu um, for internal web forms, and they are literally named whatever you've got here under your icon. So if we didn't change this, if we pulled out this icon and it said sign up for a newsletter, in our drop-down menu when we're deciding what internal web form we want to fill out, one of our options would be sign up for a newsletter. We wouldn't know with certainty what internal web form we're working with there. And it can cause, um, it can really kind of hold you up because you'll go back into the campaign, figure out which one, so on and so forth. That's not really the point here. We want to make this a really efficient process. And so by changing that labeling, that naming convention, you'll be good to go. All right, I already published this to save some time, so now we can head over and I can show you how this works. I'm now in the contact records section, which again, from your dashboard or from wherever you can get access to the Infusionsoft icon, you go into contacts, which is under CRM. I've gone into one of my testing uh, contact records. We're on the general tab. There's tons and tons of information on the general tab. If you have not perused this, I really recommend you do. So you can get ideas about uh, different information that you can gather about uh, your contacts. But if we keep scrolling down, internal web forms gets a spot all to itself right here, internal form submissions. Okay, So it used to be that they, they were mixed in with, it was just a web form section. Um, and then one of the, the software updates that, that came out um, changed that, and we have internal web forms sitting all by themselves. So it's really, really easy to find them. Here's the internal web forms, here's the external web forms. Now, external web forms, they're literally external. So you're clicking on a link, filling out information, clicking submit. Or it's out on a website, filling out information, clicking submit. So then it comes in and it records where the form was, which form it was, date, time, and IP address. With internal web forms, there is no link. The form is not living anywhere. It's internal. So from this drop-down menu, you get to pick uh, the web form that you want to, to use. Remember that tip I gave you about naming them so that you know which form you're filling out. I easily can find the form I want. It was called Appointment from Call-In. I choose it. I click Fill Out. And we now have, this is the web form. It was only two fields. It does pre-populate any information that is already in the contact record. So this can turn into a really, really fast process. To be honest with you, you probably would not have an internal web form that only asks for first name and email because if they're in the contact, uh, if they're in your contacts, you at least have their email address. You probably have their first name too. Internal web forms are great for um, you know, updating the record. So if you need to update that they came in for an appointment, perhaps you have some check boxes, perhaps you have date fields, time fields, whatever. But that's um, in a lot of times what this is used for. But you grab it from your drop-down, you click fill out, you fill out whatever you need to fill out, you click save, and then watch what happens. The record updates itself, and you now see internal web form submission just happened, appointment from Colin. So that is how we set up and use internal web forms in Infusionsoft.